All right, guys, we're back in code fights doing check palindrome. So what is a palindrome? It means that a string is the same forward as it is backwards, right? And they give you a nice little description here. It's the same left to right as it is right to left. So AABAA -A -A is true while ABAC is false. And then A is true as well, right? There's only one character, so it's always going to be palindrome. So how can we go about solving this? The way that I did it, and you'll see right here that says consisting of lowercase characters. So in theory, a palindrome should be the same if it's uppercase or lowercase. So if they didn't actually assign, say, say that the input was going to be lowercase characters, you would have to go and change that as well in the string. So we're not going to do that. But what we can do here is we can say we can do a simple return statement using a ternary operator. And what a ternary operator is, is essentially a if or else statement shorthand. You have your statement. In this case, we're going to say is input string equal to input string dot split. Now, what this does is it breaks it up into an array of characters. And let's go ahead before we actually do anything, and I'll show it piece by piece because it's going to get a little long, but it's going to get fun. So you can see here. It breaks our string ABAC into ABAC uh, character array. We're breaking it up on each character. Now, the the uh, now that it's an array, we can reverse the array with the reverse function. So now it's going to be CABA uh, or whatever C A B A. Once we call reverse on it, and you'll see there's our CABA. And now that it's reversed, we have the reverse version in array form, but we actually want to go ahead and put it back into string form. We can do that with the function join. So now when we run it, we're going to get back Kava. So our output is Kava. Now, all we have to do from here is say, hey, if input string, we actually don't even need to use a ternary. Now that I think about it, are these identical? Is the string that we put in that we now reversed, that we broke into an array, reversed the array, and then joined it back into a string, are they identical? Uh, the return statement will evaluate if that's the case. And when we run it, why is it taking so long? You'll see that we passed. So we don't need an if or an else or a ternary operator. Uh, we actually just put this as a statement and we're done. So we split it up into a, an array, we reversed that array, and then we joined it back together and compared it with the original string. And that is how we were able to solve this. Is it a palindrome? As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And support me on patreon.com slash codenotorials360. And if you want to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine, the link is in the description as well as our Discord channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.